Recently, someone asked me if you could sculpt morph maps in 3D code and easily bring them back over into Lightwave, and the answer is uh, an emphatic hell yeah. Uh, 3D code supports the LWO format uh, rather well. And um, I'll show you what I mean. See, I got three layers up here, you know, three layers in layer panel. I got my two eyes and the head. No big deal. Uh, let's go over to 3D coat, and uh, you can see where are my sub objects. If you don't have your sub objects panel up, uh, you can go up to Windows, pop ups, sub objects. There is no default hotkey, so uh, you'll have to go up there to activate it. All right, and you can see I've got uh, my three layers, my two eyes, and my head. And you can lock these layers so they they can't be edited in any way. So you can see I'm sculpting, but it's not hitting the eye. Uh, I just uh, covered the eye, though. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, it's great. Lightwave and 3D Coat mesh really well together. Now, let's get on to the task of these morph maps here. Uh, before I do that, I want to talk about the layer system in 3D Coat. Uh, briefly, the layers in 3D Coat are very much like the layers in Photoshop, as you can see here. Clearly, there's all sorts of um, blending for uh, color and spec and whatnot. Then there's blending for depth as well, and um, you know we have the similar trash can and whatnot. But anyway, the, the, each layer can contain color, spec, and depth information, but it can also contain uh, mesh data. So if we decided we wanted to uh, somehow change this guy up a little bit and uh, make that a morph map. That's no problem. So we're actually going to create two morph maps today in this video. And uh, I'll create another layer here just for that. But I'm not going to be using any of these uh, painting tools. I'm going to be using the sculpting tools. And specifically, I'll be using the move tool. So um, with one of the layers selected, let's go ahead and uh, I think we'll give this guy a smile. Let's turn on symmetry for that, at least uh, from the get-go here. We might turn that off later to make it uh, not symmetrical. So uh, let's tweak it a little bit. And give him a nice smile here. Make sure we got some creases going on, some dimple action. Uh, that should work, I do believe. Let's pull that down a little bit. Oops, not too much. Okay. Uh, in fact, I don't like that. Let's just undo that. Okay, there we go. You should never edit the center in the sculpt mode, uh, in my opinion, with um, symmetry on. You get a little crease in the center. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. See that? Don't want any creases. Always turn symmetry off. That's just in sculpt mode, by the way, not, not paint mode. All right, so bigger smile. There we go. Nice big smile. Oh boy. That's great. So, let's go ahead and name layer 2 smile. Before we can actually append this change to that layer, we need to go back briefly to the paint tab. I'm not sure why that is, because it should automatically be applied, but it, it is not. So, keep that in mind. That's one important part of the workflow here. And now if we toggle that layer on or off, you can see Hey, great! Look, we have that layer. That's uh, that's uh, that's great. Uh, now let's activate layer one, and you can activate it any time uh, before or during the work in the sculpt tab, just as long as you have the layer that you want to have the morph appended to before you go back to the paint tab. Okay, and um, let's see. I think with this morph. We're going to do something with the eyes. And symmetry's still on. Great. Let's let's make him, uh, uh, I don't know, a squinty look. Squinty Spock look, maybe. Okay. Maybe evil. I don't know. Something like that. Let's pull that out a little bit. Just a little, little anger there. All right. Let's turn off symmetry now. I don't. I don't want it completely symmetrical. Now let's scale up the brush a wee bit. Let's pull this side up and inward. That looks okay. Yeah, something like that'll work just fine. Okay, and we'll name this one. Uh, let's call that Spock. Okie dokie. 
Looks good. Let's go back to the paint tab so that uh, change will be appended to that particular layer. Let's toggle it on and off to see if we have it. And let's go ahead and combine the two. Oh yes, that looks quite evil. Me likey. Okay, so if you want to export the, out these uh, morph maps on these layers, those layers must be uh, toggled off. So turn the visibility off before you do this. Otherwise, when you export it out, you're going to get the mesh that's deformed like this, and uh, you don't want that. That is, assuming you want to create a morph map and not an entirely new mesh. So now we must export out. So go to File, Export, Export Model. And I'm just going to append this uh, little zero 02 on, or zero 03 on the end here. Save. I, I painted no texture maps at all. And uh, look at this. I already ran my test here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what you want to do down here on the bottom of the export panel is add a morph. And you can select what layer you want to be the morph. Let's go and do the smile first. And let's name this smile. Let's add another morph and uh, the source will be Spock and we'll give this uh, the same name or Spock Brow or something. That looks good. We'll hit OK. Alright, now it's exported. Let's bounce over to uh, Lightwave Layout. I want one window here. So let's import that object now and go up to File, Load, Load Object. Okay, uh, morph test number three is all right, and here's our dude. Uh, obviously, he's not sub patched. Let's bring him into view better, and uh, let's see, let's pull up. Well, we gotta highlight him, I suppose. Uh, it's right eye, head. Okay, let's hit P for properties. Yes, yes. Level three. Ah, oh, I'm on the eyes. Head. Smooth. There we go. Okay. So we have our guy, and uh, let, we want to check out those morph maps. So you need to select the object, hit P for properties, it'll pull up the object properties tab. Go to the deform tab down here. We're going to add displacement, and we're going to add the morph mixer. And you can see we do have two endomorphs looking pretty good so far. Look, hey, we got uh, Smile and Spock Brow. So now if we slide with the slider, you can see, oh great, he's all happy, sad, happy, sad, oh boy. Cool. Now let's, uh, let's check that Spock brow morph. Oh yes, he's angry. <laughs> great, and uh, of course you can go negative with that one as well. Oh, he's so sad. Uh, I, I think I'm happy. Am I? I don't know. No, I'm I'm sad. Happy. Anyway, sorry about uh, the show there, but uh, you know, captive audience and all. Right. So that's how you uh, can do morph maps, and uh, you know, I think it's a rather simple workflow, and it looks good. Of course, you could do something similar in Modeler with uh, I think it's the Magnet tool or Drag Magnet. I can't remember the name, but. Um, you know, sometimes when you uh, don't want to mess with any verses and just do a little sculpting, as I just did, uh, I think it's a rather viable solution. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.